Hi everyone, welcome back to Holyland's channel. This is Lawrence, and I'm very happy to be here again with all of you. This time, I bring to you our latest generation wireless monitor, Pyro 7. Pyro 7 is a 7-inch wireless monitor that integrates the functionalities of transmitter, receiver, and monitor all in one. It utilizes auto dual band hopping ADH technology with 1300 feet and an incredible low latency of only 60 milliseconds. Pyro 7 supports 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band transmission and automatic frequency hopping. Its exceptional hardware design enables Pyro 7 to simultaneously connect one transmitter to four receivers, and the convenience of dual camera monitoring is achieved through customizable shortcut kits. Additionally, the upgraded Holy OS system provides enhanced image analysis capabilities and allows for video file export via an external SD card. Pyro 7 is compatible with Pyro H and Pyro S, which means you can easily pair Pyro 7 with either Pyro H or Pyro S, or both. This provides you with greater flexibility and scalability to meet various monitoring needs. Let's see what's in the box. One wireless transceiving monitor, two paddle antennas, one USB-C OTG adapter, one quick guide and a packing list card, one warranty card and compliance information card, one DTAP to lock in DC power adapter cable, Next, I will introduce you to the specific functions of this product and how to use it. Let's move on. First, let's take a look at how to power the device. The Pyro 7 is compatible with standard DC power supply and an NPF battery. Moreover, the Pyro 7 offers optional G-mount and V-mount battery plates for purchase, catering to the preferences of different users. Pyro 7's Wi-Fi broadcast technology enables one transmitter to connect to four receivers with stable signals, offering more flexibility when additional monitoring needs emerge on set. To activate the broadcast mode, access the transmitter's menu and select the option to enable broadcast. When broadcast mode is activated, the transmitter can transmit signals to a max of four receivers. When broadcast mode is deactivated, the transmitter can transmit signals two at most two receivers and two mobile devices. To use the monitoring app, we need to download the Holyview app from the App Store, connect to your phone to the transmitter's Wi-Fi using the password 12345678 and launch the app for real-time monitoring. To use this feature, you need to enter the Pyro 7 menu and configure the buttons. You can customize the functions of two buttons. For example, we set the F2 button to switch groups by assigning transmitters from two different cameras to different groups, and the Pyro 7 act as a receiver. It can switch between different cameras with the press of a button. It is important to note that the functions of these two buttons are customizable. You can also set frequently used LUTs with a single press, and the button settings will remain unchanged even after the device is turned off and on again. Access the menus of the transmitter and receiver, navigate to the group settings, and place the transmitter and receiver in the same group. There are a total of nine groups to choose from. Once in the same group, the transmitter and receiver will automatically pair. It's important to know that the transmitter can connect to maximum of four receivers. If the devices haven't reached the maximum number, new receivers can be added to the same group at any time during operation without interrupting the pairing process. Access the menu on the receiver. Choose scan and the device will automatically scan frequencies and display whether each frequency is occupied. We can manually select an unoccupied frequency. The Pyro 7 menu boasts a wide array of features, particularly the Holy OS image analysis capabilities. By tapping the screen, we can see numerous functions in the menu, such as waveform, vector scope, histogram, focus assist, zebra pattern,
false color. 3D LUTs. Zoom in. Aspect mark. Cross hatch. Anamorphic. Mirror. Image overlay. Flip. And video recording. These features significantly meet the diverse needs of various production teams. Pyro 7 supports RTMP streaming. With RTMP, you can easily stream video to popular live streaming or conferencing platforms such as Zoom, YouTube Live, Twitch, TikTok Live, and more. Simply enter your live stream key and connect to your wireless network card, and Pyro 7 will provide you with a simple and convenient live streaming experience. By using an external standard SD card, the Pyro 7 can record videos allowing you to monitor on-site, improve work efficiency, and apply LUT options when exporting videos. Additionally, the Pyro 7 supports storing the available videos into specific folders, catering to your high-efficiency export and editing needs. It also supports importing from external devices or taking on-site screenshots to overlay with the current recording screen, useful for storing or replicating the current and imported scenes. Please note after finishing the recording, wait a few seconds before remove the SD card to save time to write the data. If the SD card does not successfully capture the content when removed immediately, Reinsert the SD card into the Pyro 7, wait a few seconds, and then remove it again. That's all for today's tutorial. For more information, please visit our official website by clicking the link below the video. See you next time.